Hi everybody. Uh, well it's afternoon, just. Um, it's not raining, it's not exactly sunny, but at least it's nice and bright. <laughs> so this is... Uh, someone asked me what Vader was. Vader is vlog every day for April, yeah, so that's what it is. I'm not saying I'm going to do it every single day, but I've started off with a well in a way. <laughs> so this is day four, four, four. And tomorrow on day five, we're going to have Sue. Yay! She's back from her music festival, which she wasn't too mad about. <laughs> uh, I'm back from Scotland, which she was mad about. Yeah, she loves Scotland. So she said to me on the phone, I am certain I told you. I said, look, don't get a panic. You know what I'm like. I haven't got, I've got the brain of a fish. Or whatever else has got a very small memory. I think April, the good giraffe's got a very small memory because I think she's forgotten she's pregnant. <laughs> I stopped watching her glued to her all the same now. She's beginning to bore me now. She better get on with it soon. Yeah. I've got my knitting queen mug, even though I'm a crochet queen. Sorry about that, but I've got a little bit dry. What have I been up to? Not an awful lot. The jacket has progressed a little bit. I'm now up to the armholes on the, the back. So that's where I'm up to now. Two sleeves are done, so I've just got two fronts to do when I finish that. Um, this morning I was having a little bit of a tidy up in what will be the craft room. Sue has some different ideas on how we could sort of Zizz it up a bit temporarily. I was thinking about that. I might, even though it'll probably annoy my son to death, take the temporary shelving out of the stash room and move them into the craft room temporarily. But at least that means that I'll be able to sort out my bedroom and my clothes and sort everything out for the um, charity shop or the women's refuge, whoever it, my clothes happen to go to. So at least I'll be able to tidy up two rooms, if you know what I'm saying. And if somebody will help me to take the wardrobe down, then at least I can take some of the books upstairs, put them where they're supposed to go. So I'll feel as though I'm making inroads into something, instead of sitting here going, do -do 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 -do, twiddling my thumbs. Yes. Oh, somebody asked me, that was yesterday or the day before, about this show that I was wearing. I can't give you any information about it because it was a gift. Um, I'm almost certain that it was Jackie uh, that sent it to me. If it wasn't you, Jackie, can you let me know? And so I can't really tell you what the wool was or anything about it, except it's got little glitters in it and it's very, very pretty. And it's a nice big shawl. You may have heard nothing because Gigi's not here. <laughs> I got a text message this morning saying that one of his parents was staying at home, so he was having a day at home, which is makes means I can. It's my uh, rubbish day tomorrow, which means I can actually open the front door and leave the porch door open while I organise everything and pour everything into the recycle bins without worrying if in case he runs into the street because he's a little monkey for doing that. And uh, so I have to keep shutting the door behind me. Then he barks because I'm out there and he's not. And so it's going to be great. Yes. Well, I'm glad you don't have smell -a vision today because I bought some wax tarts. They were supposed to be coconut. And they smell like the very bad toilet cleaner. <laughs> That's all I can say. So they are going in. Thank goodness as though there was only 20 of them and they're only little. But they're going in the bin. Definitely in the bin. They're not even the kind of smell you would like to scatter in your underwear drawer, you know. It's horrible. Anyway, if that's supposed to be coconut, somebody's scent was off. One of my ice orders has arrived. I just sent an email off this morning saying, you know, like it's like 10 days or more since I ordered them. And they normally come within a few days. So I sent an email off saying there was three of them and three of them were missing. 
Anyway, the first one I ordered has arrived. This one is um, Cotton Light Mint Green. Got two packs of this. It's not the softest cotton in the world, but um, it is cotton. It's 100% cotton. Um, they don't always tell you exactly. I know they do, but it's in such teeny weeny writing. I can't read it. I'll let you have a look. <laughs> if it focuses. <laughs> you can have a look what it says, how many yards are on it. Um, it's 100% cotton. And I think it's 100 grams. So it's a very pretty colour. It just says ice cotton. I think. What did I say before? Cotton Light Mint Green. So I've got two packages of that. This is the first order I did, so it was only a small order. So I've got two packages of that. And I also got two packages of this. Because it was really reduced. It was, it's called Sale. <laughs> Summer... Oh, Summer White Silver. And it's... Where did I get in? There must be a way in it somewhere. Why can I not find it? Oh, there it is. Packages from ice are so flimsy. So I don't like ripping them in the wrong places because we never get them back together. But it's got Lurex in it. Um, yeah, it's viscose and metallic. Lurex white and silver. That's what it is. Very pretty, isn't it? No trouble with Lurexes, it's a little bit scratchy. So when I make things with it, I'm always wondering whether people are prepared for it to be like a little bit itchy or whether they think it's going to be beautifully soft because it's not, yeah. And you don't really feel like describing it on Etsy as well, it's a bit itchy, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think you get many, uh, how can I put it, many takers, yeah. There's six, so I've got two packs, so it's 12 of those. Because I don't know, I think there's only 50 grams on this. Yes, there's only 50 grams on it. So there's not many yards, 70, something metres, I think it says. Not many. Excuse me while I have another drink. So what have I been doing? Not a lot, really. I wish I had lots to tell you, but I don't actually have lots to tell you. Um, waiting for the postman to come to see if he brings me anything else. I mean, yesterday it was just rolls of mail tape, mailing tape, you know, the brown stuff and the clear stuff. And uh, the white sticky labels that I write people's addresses on when I'm sending parcels. Um, that's what came yesterday, so nothing really exciting. And no post today, not yet anyway. Maybe there will be some, maybe there will. Because Sue, when I was telling Sue I had three parcels from ICE to, due to come, she was going, oh yeah, yeah, I hope they come, I hope they come. I want to see what you've got. So she'll have to make do with two, won't she? <laughs> Mind you, I don't think she's seen the last three colours that I got in, um, you know, the ice cakes. I don't think she's got the last three colours of that. So, I don't really have a lot to say, except I was going to go up the village today. In fact, I might go, but I don't know what time the bank closes. I'll have to think about that. I think it's going to have to be tomorrow morning. I think the bank will be closed before I get up there. They have very short hours over here in the UK. They close about four o'clock or something like that. And in the good old days when you had a paying in book, you you could put it in an envelope, put it through their letterbox with the cheque, yeah? And then they would put it in the following day for you. But now you have to pay in like using your card as identification. It's uh, a bit more awkward, really. There was going to be something else I was going to tell you. See, I should write these down. I should make myself a little memo. Because 
otherwise I'm absolutely clueless. Yes, yeah, so it's probably going to be a very short video today. The flowers are still alive, but they're just about hanging on. They're really getting past the best now. I need to sort them out actually because two or three of them want weeding out, you know, they're really not nice. And uh, I've got to empty all my recycling bins from the kitchen and everywhere and put them all into the, the main bins outside. So I've got a very exciting day, afternoon. <laughs> Still haven't replied to anybody's comments, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do read them as they come, but I'm getting notification now that they're coming, so I do read them when they come, but I just haven't uh, responded as yet. My day just seems to... I look at the clock and it's like 12 o'clock, and then I look again and it's like half past two, and I look again and it's five o'clock, and in between time I don't feel as though I've done anything. I mean, I've been trying to make myself do a chore or two chores, I mean, today, my chore was to put everything into the recycling bins. So I have half done that. <laughs> Which I will finish off when I finished off this video. But I decided to do the video now before, while the daylight was still there. And then I don't have to bring the, um, you know, the big lighting and everything in. So sorry if I'm on a slant because my tripod still hasn't arrived. Um, it's quite a few things that I'm looking for that haven't arrived. Only small things, nothing major. Oh, well, there is one thing major. I've ordered a set of plastic drawers, you know, to put some more of my magazines and stuff in like that. Because everything's still all over the, the dining room. After the shelf collapsed. <laughs> uh. Why is it happened to me? Oh, somebody going past. I don't know who he is. We have flats or apartments, whatever you want to call them, further down. They're like a maisonette, they're just two storeys high. And they change hands, people move in, people move out. And you just get used to certain people walking past and then they vanish, you know. Um, I mean, sadly, two of the oldies have vanished. So, I mean, one was nearly 90, so sadly I think that maybe he's, he's left this world because I haven't seen any sign of him. And then there's another little lady across the road, she was also in her 90s. And I haven't seen her for a while, so that's probably why there's new people down in the flats, isn't it? Because somebody's taken over their flats or apartments. We call them flats. We call them apartments. They're very small, very tiny. My friend used to live in one. The one who had Mikey. That's how come I met her. She used to live down the street from me when she first moved in as a single parent with, with her son. She was unfortunately in an abusive relationship, so... She had to flee. <laughs> she was wise enough to get out while she could. So that's where she got. She got a little tiny, it was a tiny flat. But that's what you have to put up with, isn't it, when you're just going quickly from A to B. Well, I'm still looking at my dust. Still haven't done that yet. It's on the list. I've got a, a whiteboard, you know, a little whiteboard. Usually I put my hospital appointments on that because I'm pretty clueless, you know, as to where I'm supposed to be going and when. Uh, I, need, I told you I need a social secretary. I really do need a secretary. One that will write all my stuff for Etsy. One who will show me how to do electronic diaries. I used to have an electronic diary on Yahoo and it was brilliant. And then it stopped working. I think it's buzzing. A PC is so old, it now won't update anymore. So I'm, you know, I need to get a new tower. All the other stuff's fine. The keyboard's fine. The monitor's fine. I just need a new tower. So, all this is in the future, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, apart from my back killing me today, I'm in fine spirits. But my back hurting is nothing new, so it's just something that I have to learn to put up with. Oh, my ears just switched off. I had tinnitus when I first started off this. <laughs> Another thing I've got, you know, I'm just a walking wreck, aren't I? And it was whistling in my ear when I first started doing this uh, video. 
but it's just switched itself off now. It's gone off. I feel so sorry for people who've got tinnitus all the time. It must be dreadful. Mine just switches itself on and switches itself off at will. You know, sometimes it can continue all day. Sometimes I just get it for about an hour. Other days I don't get it at all, which is great. But it just switched itself on just when I was just going to make the video. And I thought, well, I'll carry on. It's not too bad. It was just like a little high-pitched whistle in me right here. But <laughs> it feel like every day I'm telling you something else that's wrong with me. <laughs> Perhaps I should try and write a list of what's right with me. But it'd probably be a very short list. <laughs> when you're in your 40s and your 50s, you never think what you're going to be like when you're older. You don't give it a thought. I never did. And even now, I'm not giving it a thought. I refuse to accept the fact that I've got a zillion things wrong with me. I cope. I think that's the right attitude to have. I cope. Whatever life throws at me, I cope. I'm not kidding you. I do have days, and you know because you've seen me, I do have days when it gets to me, you know. When I sort of mentally thinking the why me? Why me? Why is it me? Why? And then you think, well, why not? Why is it not me? What right do I have to have perfect health? What right? Don't have any, do I? So, <laughs> I was just thinking about my bicycle. <laughs> Get on my bicycle and go for a ride. Or shall I go for a nice long walk? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Neither of those things will happen. I have no intentions of buying a bicycle. And I might have another go with my pedals if I could stop them pedaling away across the carpet. That's for a long walk. That's completely off the menu. <laughs> Even a short walk's off the menu. So this is day four, so I'm going to leave you now. And day five, it'll be the gruesome twosome, me and Sue. So at least she'll have something to tell you because she can tell you all about the hollies. And I think she said she's got a shawl to show you. So I'll hold her to that. And maybe, maybe the rest of the ice order will come. So keep your fingers crossed for us and I shall just say goodbye. Have a nice day. And I hope your crocheting or your knitting is going well and there's no um, unravelling, no mistakes, no nothing. Everything's going well in your day. So I'm just going to scratch an itch and then I'm going to turn the camera off. So bye now.